Hello guys, what is going on? My name's Trusty, but as always, and it's nighttime. Well, that foiled my plans, but never fear, we're gonna go to bed. That's what we're gonna do. And, um, today, we're gonna go caving because... Well, let me go to bed first, and then I'll show you guys why. Hi. Hi. Okay, hi. Um, you're classified as a monster? No, you're not. Not anymore. No, shut up. You're not. Ooh special but um today we're gonna go caving because i have diamonds but i don't have very many so i think i only have four or one or yeah i have two <laughs> i was off excuse me guys i'm taking a sip of my what is this coca-cola cherry zero that's a long name kind of um, I also want to fix this in episode, but who knows if we shall get to it. Is this considered a weapon? I'm gonna say no. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, just gotta put this stuff away. Shall we? Is a gold nugget an ore? It is n no. I'm gonna put it over here, maybe. Yeah. Sure. Um, mob drops. Maybe. Sure. It is now. Um, yeah. This is difficult. I've never had to sort this many things. This is just crazy beyond belief. We'll put that in there. Along with building blocks, can go bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. And guess what? Bam! Good. However, 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 where is the wood? The wood. The wood. I'm gonna take that with me. Probably won't even need that much. I probably won't even need that much, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take that with me as well as I'm going to take some. Well, I'm not gonna take any, but. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make some torches. And make some, um, some more things. Things. You, you know, I, I don't care. I don't care what you say. Okay, I don't even care. And, um, yeah, we're gonna go find a cave. Did we already sleep? Uh, I believe so. Yes, we did. Um, so yeah, we have diamonds, but not enough. So, therefore, we're gonna go ahead and find a cave. Um, that should last me some amount of time at least until I can find some other things should in theory but it's always in theory got 47 it should last me it'll last me a decent amount of time let's um let's just go in here and see if it'll take me anywhere which I don't believe it will but you know I've uh, I've been wrong before hello sir sir I don't appreciate that um I wish I had a topic to talk about hey that's gay okay. Um, so, shit, man. Oh, um, got a topic. So, we're in this PE class, right? Um, we're playing Captain's Flag, except this time, it's, we don't kind of, it's, um, it's kind of Captain's Flag and it's kind of not. Except this time we got two flags. One's an actual flag, like you would use, um, if you play, like, a, if you've ever played flag football. We get two flags. One's a flag that you play that you that you would use in like flag football, and then the other is a football. Now you obviously have to um, carry or like tie the flag around you, and then you have to um, like go. You know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and F3, F2 that just in case I get lost ever. Um, so you have to carry that. Um, back to your base and uh, the other flag is actually a football and you can throw that ball but if it ever uh, hits the ground then whoever was trying to catch it and uh, whoever threw it um, are automatically out and then the football goes back to um, the enemy base and then you have to try and go get it again and um, let me just say um, this was a great catch of mine I was almost all the way across the field it was great it really was um, so yeah, I don't even know what the point of that, uh, story was, but, um, we're trying to find a cave, and clearly that's not working out for us. 
why was I trying to eat my water bottle? My, I mean, my bucket of water. I don't know. Hmm, okay. Let's try to find a cave again. And if this doesn't work, then, um, I'm gonna have to do something. Yeah. Hmm, this is, uh, this is interesting. I guess if we can't find a cave, maybe we'll just go exploring, huh? Who knows? Who knows? <gasps> is that a cave I see? Gonna take some us. Aw, it's not. Oh man, that's good coke. Except, um, I don't drink coke that often. Well, <laughs> that's actually a lie. I do. Um, but I don't enjoy it half the time when I drink it. I just drink it because it's a substance and it fills me up. And, um, and that, and yeah. But, um, when I do drink it and, uh, I actually enjoy it, Oh boy, is it good. That's interesting right here. That's, uh, yeah, this boggles. This. Ooh, that's mind boggling. But, uh, let's carry onward. I'm trying to find a cave. I really am. It's just not happening. Or if I can't find a cave, maybe I'll just try to go look for villages and something or something. I honestly have no idea what to do for this, uh, video. There'll be another video um, later on today. Uh, I'm not sure what it'll be about, but uh, mark my words, there will be. So yeah, to make up for everything. Hmm. I'm gonna eat. There is nothing, man. This is just kind of dumb, wouldn't you say? I think this is just retarded. I mean, look at how many cactus there are. There's just... Okay. This is what I'm doing. I'm gathering all the cactus in sight because, mark my words, I'm going to create a cactus farm. I don't even know what the reason for that's going to be, but I'm going to create a cactus farm and I don't care what you say. Cause I'm in love with you. I don't... They try to pull me away. And I don't know the rest of the lyrics. This is gonna be great. Watch, my cactus farm is gonna be ballin'. I don't care what you say. Can I just say that? It's gonna be the best damn cactus farm you've ever seen in your entire life. Once again, mark my words. Mark them. Get a paper down and mark them. That's what you guys gotta do. Uh, so, my school year's winding down, guys, and let me tell you, uh huh. I feel like school, and I know this is the same for everybody, but uh, I'm just going to give you my opinions on it. I feel like school is um, is one of those things where at the beginning of the year, well, here's how it goes. At the end of the year, you're like, man, it's good that school's over with. I hate this place, and I'm so glad I don't have to deal with it anymore. And then, uh, let's say maybe two, three, four weeks pass, and you're like, man, I almost wish I was doing something. Not that I wish I was going to school, but I wish I was doing something. And then, maybe another half month passes by, you're halfway through your summer vacation, and you're like, I really want to go to school. I really do. And then, fast forward a month and a half, or a month later, however long your summer break is, whatever they call it. <gasps> I feel like we've already been there, but I'm going to go ahead and search it anyways. Um, and then, you go back to school. The last week, you're like, man, time's winded down. I, I just want to be lazy. I don't care if I'm bored. I don't want to go back to school. Don't let it happen. But, I feel... And then once you start school back up again, you kind of almost enjoy it for the first few, like, first little while. Hey. I hear something. <laughs> and this hasn't been raided, which is great. But, then what happens is, um, hold on guys, let me get this and then I'll, uh, then I shall talk to you. Problem solved. <gasps> good things. Very, very good things. They're good. They're good for the soul. This is a hall of amazingness. Please be diamonds. Hey, diamond horse armor. I will not complain. Complaining is not what I'll do. Playing the English language. But, um, no. The last week, uh, back to what I was saying. The last week is, um, is 
oof, interesting. Um, and then when you go back to school, you know, the first week you're like, man, this is good actually. I'm glad I'm coming back to school. And then fast forward, and maybe I, I'm not exactly sure these exact time frames, but it's rough. Maybe half a month, a month, two months, you start to get tired of school because you realize, hey, it's no more being introduced to what we're going to learn about this year. It's work, surprisingly. So, yeah, and then after a little while of that, you start really hating school, and that's when it becomes the daily grind, and that's when it starts to set in that you just wish it was Christmas break, and Christmas break is nice and all, but that only lasts for so long, and then you go back to school, and it's great, you're refreshed, but... You're not very refreshed. You're only refreshed for a little while, and then you want to go on summer break, and it's just not fun. And I'd say around half, like uh, the halfway mark of uh, school is when I really, really start to get tired of school, and I just uh, am longing for that summer break. Sorry, guys. My throat needs to be quenched, okay? You don't know how hard this is. My life is so hard, okay? I don't understand it. So, um, so yeah, that was sort of hard of what I just did, but that's kind of how I feel about school, and I, I'm at the point now where, um, I don't, I don't, I feel like I could go on a little bit longer. I feel like I can, I maybe have another four months left in me for school until I just, like, give up. Um, thankfully it's winding down so I don't have to give up, but if I had to, I could probably keep doing the, the school thing. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, so yeah. Yep. And I guess this adventure has more or less turned into, um, uh, go look for, for castles and stuff. So yeah, I don't even think it's, I don't even think it's like, um, a caving adventure anymore. It's just like, look for castles, like I said. So I'm just gonna keep doing that, I guess. So that's where I'm at, uh, with school. It's becoming crunch time when uh, everything's becoming due and yeah once again that's where I'm at now um, I think I have maybe another month worth of school I think I have like 20 days left actually um, or something like that I don't know hey what is this I'm gonna go in here I don't know the exact numbers but um, to give you an idea I mean it's literally a month away so yeah and uh, it's coming to the point now where I don't have to start thinking about college, but um, if I don't, then uh, I don't know. I feel weird. But um, I know that there are some people that, because uh, I have classes with like young people, I still have classes with 7th graders. Because um, the way my school works is um, if you're new, you get put in phase 1 classes, which is essentially like, um, for example, um, photography. There's multiple phases to that. I think there's like three phases. Um... It just depends what phase you're in. Like, uh, this is a new school for me. For me. I said that like a, like, I don't know, a partly retarded guy. Um, guy? I'm a girl. What are you talking about? But, um, uh, I'm in phase one, and so are the new seventh graders. So if you're in phase one, you have, like, tenth graders, you have eighth graders, you have, like, seventh graders. Um, I've never had a class with a sixth grader yet, but, uh... Yeah, that'd be interesting, because my school goes uh, from 6 through 12. It's kind of weird like that, but, um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, you know, <laughs> it's dealing with stupid, retarded people most of the time, but, uh, I, I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I almost enjoy school, I've said this before, but, um, I kind of enjoy it, but I kind of don't, you know, it's just the fact that I have to go. If I, um... Perhaps if I could sleep in two more hours of the day and be let out the same time, um, I would not mind going to school because it's a it's almost like a social outing for me. But because um, I do well in school, because for me it's not that hard. But um, you know, I do know that uh, school is a place to get things done, and it's not a place to get, to talk, I don't know why I'm talking about this, I just went off on a tangent, but, uh, school's good, guys, it's, it's good for me, how's it for you, I mean, I, I know back a couple years it wasn't my jam, but, uh, you know, 
Um, skeletons will always come to kill you eventually. Eventually. Maybe not now, but eventually. I'm gonna get some coal, even though I already have tons. I'm doing it anyways, and there's iron there. Sorry guys, I was scratching my back. And my neck, whatever, I don't care. I don't care. I say I don't care a lot. And, um, I don't care is a weird word. Like, um, I know, hello, gonna have to make one of those things. I know, um, my parents don't like the word I don't care. Um, it's not like they're like, hey, you're grounded if you say it. But, uh, they just prefer it uh, not to be said, you know. It's one of those things with them. Um, I don't really understand it, but, um, you know. One of those things, and I guess it's um when I say I don't care, it's like a whatever to them. Like you don't care, you know, YOLO almost. And for me, I feel like there's a time and a place to say YOLO. I feel like if you're crossing the street and you only look one way, that's not a time to say YOLO. I mean, I make a joke about saying YOLO when I do that, but uh, it's not the time and the place to do it. But I do feel that I mean sometimes you know you're pushed to a point. I mean. And uh, I'm not talking about the point that 13-year-old girls think that their life is hard, that point. But I do think that um, sometimes you're poor, you're pushed to a point. Maybe like if you have a stressful job, you know, I, I don't know. I, sorry, guys, that was my phone. I should probably check that. It might be important. Oh, it's a text message. I'm popular. Um... So, yeah, I, I... You know, it's one of those things. YOLO is... <laughs> When it first that phrase first came a thing became a thing, I used I thought it was kind of clever almost. And then I heard the song what it was from, and I almost thought that YOLO had a direct translation from the song, and it had nothing to do with what the internet was making it out to be. Then I realized YOLO, you only live once, is almost like a whatever type thing. And going back to what I was saying, it's almost like a, an I don't care thing. And I mean. I say YOLO as if, like, I mean it, but I really don't, because I, I throw the term around so much, and, um, and yeah, you know, it's just a thing, it's just a thing, that's what things are, so that's kind of what I think on YOLO, I think there's a time and a place for it, and, um, perhaps I don't use it in the, in, uh, the correct time and place. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just pillar up because that seems to be the most the most logical if we're going by logic which let's be honest nobody has logic anymore we all use Google to find out answers definitely not Yahoo answers I mean who still uses Yahoo answers like I mean I go on there because I think it's funny sometimes but who actually goes on there for a real lot, excuse me, I just, uh, like, burped and farted at the same time, I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, I, I silently farted, hello, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> but, um, who actually uses Yahoo Answers for, like, reliable information on a daily basis? I know I'm not one of those people. I don't even know if this was the way I came from. Put that thing back where it came from, I believe it, wait. Hello, Ravine. I will not be putting that thing back where it came from, and instead I will be going down here. And meeting you! Hello. Hmm. Hello. Good job, guy. Alright, guys, this episode is kind of winding down. I know this wasn't uh, the best of episodes, but, um. I uh, know. Um, I think I finally found an interesting place to explore, in which I am going to do the next episode. I believe. Let me just make sure that this ravine is uh, is worthwhile to explore, and not giving you guys a shitty episode or next episode, because this one was quite shitty, if I do say so. Myself. Hey, lighting glitch. Fix yourself. Yep, there's caves that way and caves that way. There's zombies. Seems like a good one to me. Anyways, guys, I will meet you guys back here in the next episode. Hope you guys have a great day. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all those fun things if you enjoyed it. And then that, guys, I will see you all later. Peace.